Hey, howdy, hey y'all, Leanna here, and today on the porch, it's BoxyCharm for August. This is my BoxyCharm Premium, and the theme is Dusk Till Dawn. BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup, skincare, hair, and stuff subscription box. And I subscribed for a year, so my boxes cost me $35 a month. You get six, six, six full-size products. And we're going to jump right in to what's inside my box. I'm going to go in the order in which I applied them on my face and hair. Because I have a hair care product. This is Playa Ma Manoi Manoi Milk Leave-In Conditioner. Smooths, frizz, and softens strands. It's coconut milk and Ma Manoi Manoi. Oh, I'm sure I am saying that incorrectly. It retails for $24, and this is a new brand of BoxyCharm. Ultra light yet deep conditioning treatment formulated for chemically treated dry, frizzy, or environmentally damaged hair. Tahitian Manoi Oil penetrates the hair shaft, taming frizz and healing damage. Coconut milk deep conditions, promoting strength, shine, and softness. Use on wet or dry hair. It detangles, seals the hair cuticle to lock in moisture, restore luster, and diminish frizz. And as you can see, I sprayed it right into my hair. Probably next time, as thick as it is, I will spray it in my hand like I did the second time and put it in. It did fine. I, I was kind of worried that it was going to make my hair look uh, a little greasy. It does not. It, it definitely gets rid of the frizzies. I did not comb my hair afterwards. That's why it doesn't look super smooth. But you can see the shine. Or that's the shine coming off my gray, one or the other. Either way, it's shining. I don't care. The gray doesn't bother me. So, it smells horrible. <laughs> I mean, it's not unbearable, but now the smell is gone. So, it doesn't linger. And that could just be whatever that Manoi oil is because coconut oil normally smells pretty good. So, I like that. I did not, I intentionally did not put any conditioner in my hair when I washed it so that I could try this and my hair does feel nice and soft. It actually feels like it gave it a little bit of volume too, so I like it. The next item in my box that I put on my skin is this Essential Radiance Nutrient C Eye Cream from Cat Berkey. <laughs> And this, my friends, retails for $90. $90. This is what the component looks like. It's very nice. It smells absolutely wonderful. And it says it's a rich, nourishing eye cream with vitamin C specifically designed for the delicate eye area. This instant reviver is made with a combination of radiance enhancers, Stay C, a stable form of vitamin C, brightens the eye area. Grapeseed and evening primrose oils deliver antioxidant protection and vitamin E and caffeine help nourish and depuff. Cat's proprietary nutrient-dense KB5 complex, rich in antioxidants, is added to defend against environmental damage. And I really did like it my under eyes even after putting powder on them because I have powdered foundation under my eyes my eyes feel very hydrated and soft so I really did like how it felt it felt very nourishing and hydrating and I mean this is a, a very nice size bottle it is uh, 0.5 fluid ounces 15 mils it has a 12-month shelf life, and this will last you a long time. I don't know if it'll last you a year. That's $7.50 a month. I might would buy it if it's going to last me a year. I mean, that is a big bottle. It'll last you for quite a long time. So is the value there? I don't know. I'm going to keep using it. I will come back and let you know at another time. 
The next item in my box is this Complex Culture Good Glow Blush Duo. It comes with this little insert in it that tells you where to place the product and it tells you about the subtle glow. Apply one shade or a touch of both onto apples of the cheeks for a flush of glowy color and total glow sweep deeper shade onto apples of the cheeks, blend in the lighter shade of blush, up cheekbones tor towards, towards the temples. That was one of my choice items. I chose that. It retails for $30 and it is a two-in-one blush duo, dials up cheeks in crush-worthy color, pairing two complementary shades in different finishes for a filter-like glowy radiance. The blendable, buildable, clean formula allows you to flex from soft, barely there blush to full-on pop of color. And I thought it was really nice. Nice, soft color. And yes, it was definitely buildable. I went a little light on it. Very nice blush. Next up, we have Ofra Signature Palette in symphony <laughs> how to use like all ofra shadows apply to the lid with a dry shadow brush or mist a brush with makeup fixer for a bolder look very nice little palette that palette retails for 34 dollars it says on the card but i actually looked it up online and on the ofra web website it is 32 dollars and it says, give them pitch perfect eye looks with this palette, mauves and warm shimmers, featuring and inspired by Ofra's, Ofra's Blissful Highlighter. These harmonious shades never miss a beat in this easy to carry compact with a mirror. And as you can see, it took a little bit of doing to build the colors up. So if you are new to color or applying eyeshadow, then these probably would work very well for you because, you know, you can go in a little too ham and then it's easier to build it up than it is to take it away. So for somebody a little bit more experienced, it's just a little bit more work, but I think the look came out very nice and it is a nice compact eyeshadow palette that you could throw in a travel bag and take with you. I'm not mad at it. I thought the look, look turned out really well and it is definitely very fall looking and it's making me want cold weather and the leaves to start turning and some bonfires and a sweater. I'm all ready for that because I'm done with all this heat. So, like I said, I'm not mad at it. I think the look turned out very pretty. The next item in my box is this Mellow Way Your Way Mascara, and this is in the shade Super Black. I looked this up online too, and they have mint mascara, a mint. I started to say flavor, a mint shade <laughs> mascara that was really pretty. I believe I saw a cherry. They had lots of different colors, so I thought that that was very interesting. I like the component, and you'll see as I'm using it that the wand is easily bent however you need it to be to help you put your mascara on which I really, really liked because I can get the mascara on my left eye on really, really well. I don't know why holding my arm across that it will put that on. I have a little bit more trouble on my right. I guess it's just the way you hold it, but having that, and I know all mascara wands are normally they will bend, but this is made to bend. That is one of the features of it, and I really did like that. This mascara does not smell good. It has a very, very strong chemical smell. Now, it dissipated, you know. I can't smell it, but of course my eyeballs don't smell, so, and it's up above my nose, <laughs> but I can't. I can't smell it, and it did not irritate my eyes at all. For people that have sensitive eyes, I don't know if that strong smell would bother you or not. This retails 
for $22, and it says it's an award-winning volumizing mascara featuring patented adjustable brush and last feeding formula infused with keratin, amino acids, argan oil, and red algae extract. Uh, that's probably why it smells so bad. Long-lasting and smudge-proof, deeply pigmented, super black formula luxuriously coats lashes for maximum drama while patented helix brush perfectly separates and fans out your lashes for a falsy like look and it says that this is a new brand of boxy and i don't know about the volume or yes it did give me volume it did not give me a lot of length and it did seem to be just a little bit clumpy. But when I find that when mascaras are a little bit clumpy, I just put just a titch of either um, micellar water or you could put the your contact solution in it to thin it out. And I mean just a titch. It doesn't take much. But that will help get rid of some of that clumpiness. And... I have a pain. <laughs> Sometimes um, clumpiness for me can be user error too. It depends on how I put my mascara on sometimes. I know that that sounds crazy, but the last item in my box is the Sleepover Steam Mask. Five self-warming steam mask for your eyes. I'm quite excited to use this. It says warms up in 30 seconds and it helps to relieve migraines, which I've never in my life had a migraine, but I do have a pain in the back of my head. Tension headache, that's probably what that is. Dry eyes, I do have that issue, and sleep problems. I also get those little, they're almost like little styes on my eyes and I have a mask that I will heat up in the microwave because if you put that on, it's, what is that? But it heats it up. It's like um, like a uh, oily, fatty, oily deposit. And it will heat it up and kind of help your body to process it and make it go away. So these will be really nice since they're heated. It has a soothing rose scent. So those of you that don't like the smell of roses probably will not like these. I haven't opened them. Let's open them and see. I mean, they don't want you to get into these. They come in these little individual packs. Tear along perforation, remove eye mask from pouch. Eye mask will begin to warm up when open, use immediately. They feel really thick. Place white colored side of eye mask on eyes and notched edge down. Place ear strap around the ear, ears. Keep eyes closed and do not press the eye mask against your eye during application. These retail for $20. It says this mask is your calm in a pouch, giving you some well-earned relaxation time. The warming, relaxing mask will soothe your tired eyes and allow you to lie back, relax, doze, daydream, meditate, or just unplug from life. I need to take those with me to work and just pull one out and slap it on when people start getting on my nerves. People will be like, what is she doing? Can you see me in a meeting? Okay, so now that is everything in my box. And the total value of my box comes to $224. $220. I have no idea where the four came from. And that is a pretty good value when I pay $35 for my box. Let me know down in the comments. Did you get the same thing that I got in my box? Are we boxy twins? Did you like your box? My daughter and I got almost the exact same box. I forget what we got different. She loves this. She said that was her favorite thing in the box. I don't know if she's tried her palette out yet. but So thanks for hanging out with me and watching me open and try on the products in my BoxyCharm premium box for August. 
don't forget before you go to show that like button some love and as always I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are and we are all beautiful at any age and any size find something to be grateful for today pull your makeup out and play with it and I'll see y'all in my next video bye bye Christopher oh Christopher wouldn't these be great when you go fishing? You're chilling out by the pond, by the cement pond. Got your fishing pole thrown in. You can hear the crickets and the birds and the frogs. And just put this on. <laughs> I just had a visual of you just relaxing and you've got that on. And all of a sudden something really tugs at your fishing pole and you're scrambling trying to find it and get that off. That wouldn't be too relaxing. But up to that moment, you would be very relaxed, okay? Mama loves you, boo.